Shoot. Hello everyone, today we are going to review the new Luigi's Mansion 2 HD remake. Okay, so I'm going to load into the game real quick. Here's the menu screen. Click my account. So, let's see the first level just to show also the mechanics and stuff. Okay, first, we have to get through all, get this uh, dialogue, but you don't want to. Well, it's just a. I'll, I'll actually do it. This part you can skip, and I am going to. Okay, now let's play the slow one. There's also motion controls uh, for the cutscenes, some of the cutscenes, if you look through something, a wall or a window, it'll ha you have the option to do motion controls like this. You get up, just press B. You're usually supposed to uh, chase the rat around, but... I already have her so I already have a lock, so just do it. Do that. Okay, now because they give you the key, um if there's a uh, X on it that means you can't open the door, you need a key for it. When I encounter our first real cutscene. Oh yeah, every time you do something or so, or like every time you do the main part of the game, you get one of these calls that you can skip. But well, I'm gonna read it for y'all. No, you don't read it. to get something. You can follow along if you if you need to. And skip it because it's just like actually know what I want. Every time you unlock a door, it's the same cutting. I'm gonna skip this one. Oh, yellow. 
That's new that you could um, like activate it or something. Mm -hmm. 
this. Oh yeah. Oh, yellow. <laughs> If you're wondering if you skip these end credits, you can't. Because some cutscenes you just can't skip. Like the first cutscene of the game, you cannot skip that one. This game auto saves. Yes, it's just um, the first part of my shirt. I don't think we can skip this though. Okay, now we have finished the first level. Let's talk about the game. Okay, so the graphics are 10 out of 10. They're amazing for an HD remake. For a 3DS game, they, they used to be on 3DS and it's on Switch. It's really good for um, an HD remake. Now let's talk about the, um, the game. Like, the game was, the game controls, sorry. Okay, the game controls are okay. Um, I wish it did more with the right joystick because all it does, it's a bit annoying if you don't know what it does. It will just, it all it does is moves your flashlight and because of that, you might be actually moving that for a camera. It might be a bit annoying. And, but everything else, all the controls are, are actually pretty good, so I'll give it a nine out of 10. Okay, now, let's see. The game quality. The game quality is really good. There's, I haven't occurred into any glitches or any problems with the game. Nothing has really happened. The game's been running well, it's pretty good. Give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, now the, the I was, the cutscenes, they're pretty good. Um, some are a bit annoying, they can't skip, like, the first cutscene, it's like a, I don't know, two minutes long, you can't skip it, you have to watch the whole scene, and the end credits, if you don't want to watch it, you, ha you have to, about that. Alright, you should get the game, it's a really fun game, I've played it a, a lot of times before in this video, it's really fun to play through, and there's a lot of content to do, there is a lot of secrets and stuff to, and and hidden levels in each world to do so it you should really pick up the game and actually play the game but now bye bye